Welcome uh, to this video. We're going to discuss now the exercises 1 to 5 of chapter 26, Saving Investment and Financial System. Remember, this is a book of Gregory Mankiw, Principles of Economics. So the first question says, for each of the following pairs, which bond would you expect to pay a higher interest rate and explain? So the first situation is between a bond of the US government or a bond of an Eastern European government. So the first fact, fact that we need to take into account in order to answer these questions is to think about the risk of that paper, of that document, of that asset. Then particularly we need to start with the fact that higher risk, so definitely this will bring a higher yield obviously a higher uh, loss as lost as well so then uh, so this the variance between the profit on the losses it's higher than a safer good safer investment so in this situation we need to think that a uh, US bond is considered around the world as one of the safest uh, document then for this reason it is expected that the higher interest rate should be provided by the Eastern European government. Second, a bond that repays the principal in year 2020 or a bond that repays the principal in year 2040. So other fact that we need to think about it is about the time frame. When we talk about more time, it is expected a higher yield. Why? Because basically, there is higher uncertainty about the situation, about the future. You cannot have the control of this situation. So definitely more time, higher yield. Then we will expect a higher interest rate bond uh, or high interest rate uh, for the bond of 2040. Uh, C, a bond from Coca-Cola or a bond uh, from a software company you run in your garage. Again, higher risk, higher yield. So then this is what we called maybe um, maybe kind of a, a junk bond because maybe it's like really, really high risk that you are not going to have repay that money that you at the end of the day you lent to this company. So then you should be expected the software company will provide a higher interest rate. Uh, a bond uh, issued by federal government or a bond issued by New York State. So I must admit in that point that I assume that the New York State state is safer than the federal government. So for this reason uh, it is expected that the federal government will provide a higher interest rate. Second. Many workers hold large amounts of stock issued by the firms at uh, which they work. Why do you suppose companies encourage this behavior? Why might a person not want to hold stock in the company where he works? Well, basically something that we discussed in previous chapter, which is associated with asymmetric of information. Asymmetric of the information is like the opposite of symmetric information. This is basically that both sides, they don't have the same information. So then we're going to differentiate then for the principal should be the company and the agent should be the worker so definitely there are different characteristics of the worker that the company cannot control so then there is some way that the company should assume that the worker is making effort so then it should be a, a way that the profit of the company is related with the salary of the workers this should be a way of uh, stocks so then uh, this should be the case. Why might a person not want to hold stock? Because it's a double risk. Because if the company fail, he will fail too as well. So this is a double risk. It's like your uh, eggs are in the same basket. Third, explain the difference between saving and investment as defined uh, by a macroeconomist. 
which of the following situations represent investment saving expense so basically when we talk about investment we need to uh, make a little differentiation apart from the real life because investment in economics is more related about something to have uh, better uh, productivity so it means inputs as capital as land or maybe some way so sort of low knowledge so then something that should be kind of a factor of production it should be more related with investment and saving more about your disposable money that you don't use to consume instead of use you use it uh, for a safe for so for future consumption so a your family takes out a mortgage and buys a new house so this is interesting because maybe you can think maybe it could be some way of saving but for the GDP accounts this is investment and maybe we can think about it some return expected in the future maybe related with capital accumulation B you use your 200 paycheck to buy stock in AT&T so this is AT&T 7 because it's not like a factor of production your roommate earns 100 and deposit uh, in his account of bank definitely should be a saving as well and then D, you borrow 1000 from a bank to buy a car to use in your pizza delivery business. So then this is related with something to produce something, which is the, the pizza output, because this is provided by the service. So then this should be more investment because of relationship with an input. Four, suppose GDP is 8 trillion, taxes are 1.5 trillion, private saving is 0 0.5 and the public saving is 0 0.2 assuming this economy is closed calculate consumption government purchases national saving and investment so first here we have the GDP remember the GDP is exactly the same as Y which is the income which exactly equal to it I'm going to just uh, avoid uh, writing trillion because all the all the numbers there are in trillion and then we have taxes 1.5 uh, the the private uh, saving 0.5 and here here is my mistake because public saving should be 0.2 so then it should be 0.2 then which is the uh, first uh, consumption so first we're going to use this uh, computation this equation which says this the private saving is basically whole income minus the consumption and minus the taxes because if you don't pay taxes and if you do consume it you will have this money as saving so then should be as 0 0.5 which is a saving private saving a private and then y should be 8 minus consumption minus 1.5 then should be uh, Z which is minus it goes to the other side positive then 8 minus 0 0.5 minus 1.5 then we have consumption is exactly equal to 6 S next the um, saving the public saving should be 0 0.2 okay I'm going to correct it however you can correct easily right so here should be 0 0.2 then we have here the government expenditure is exactly equal to uh, 1.5 minus 0 0.2 that should be point here they should be z1.3 um, then which is the the total uh, so then we already have the can the calculate consumption we have already government purchases and then then we need to national saving which is basically the S save saving private private saving plus the public saving so then we have 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 then total saving which be equal to 0 0.7 then should be exactly equal equal to the investment because of the national identity so saving equal to uh, investment then proving we have the total GDP should be consumption plus investment plus government then we have six then plus investment which should be a uh, 0 0.7 plus um, this one we should be the government one 1.3 plus 0 0.7 2 plus plus uh, 6 should be exactly equal to 8 then economists in Finlandia 
a closed economy. Closed economy means that there there are no exports and no imports. So then we we are just going to take into account consumption plus investment plus government as the total expenditure or total income. Have collected the following information about the economy for a particular year. Then we have the the GDP, we have consumption, we have taxes, and we have government expenditure. And then there is a function of the investment which naturally uh, there is a negative uh, relationship with uh, the, the, the interest rate because higher interest rate there are less incentives to make investments so then this should be a negative relationship where R is the country's real interest rate expresses expressed as a percentage then calculate private saving public saving national saving investment and the equilibrium real interest rate. so first we are going to start with the definition of the private uh, saving because actually is the first question then we already have uh, y which is the total gdp minus consumption minus taxes then we end up with two thousand five hundred then the public should be taxes, which is the income of the government, minus the expenditure. Should be the government expenditure, which is 1,700. Then here we have negative. It's what we call deficit. So it's a public deficit, which is uh, usually what's done in all, um, all uh, countries around the world. They spend more than they receive. So here is the, uh, the, the debt that the government has. Then the total or the national savings should be private plus public should be 2,500 minus 200. Then we end up with 2,300, which is exactly equal to the I, exactly equal to investment. This is the national identity, saving equal to investment. Then uh, we already have this one and then we are going to have the... The, the, we already have this one, the saving and the investment. So we're going just to replace investment by 2,300 and we're going to uh, solve by R. So then we just put this R, which is negative to the other side. Then we have 3,300 minus 2,300 and then this over 100 then uh, we are going to have 1,000 over 100 and then the interest uh, the interest, real interest rate for this economy should be 10%. Okay, I hope it has uh, helped to your exercises, to your understanding for this, uh, for this uh, chapter, and see you hopefully next time. Bye-bye.